Hello everyone, I'm Timoteo. And I'm George. And we, we are Vintage Doll Hunters. Hunters. On this channel, we will be discussing and reviewing what we found on our latest Vintage Doll Hunt, sharing with you our opinions and our knowledge. We provide you, the audience, quality information based on our seven years of collecting experience, either from the homes of others or from our own collection. So join us as we reveal what we found today. Let's get started. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, welcome back. All right, so this week we have something special planned with all the special stuff going on in town. We thought we'd bring it back to one of Mattel's dolls, a family member. So we want to introduce you guys for the first time on our uh, Vintage Doll Hunters, Timoteo and George, Skipper. This is Skipper right here. As all of you know, this is Barbie's little sister. Or if you didn't know, this is Barbie's little sister. Yeah, her debut was in 1964. This is the original Skipper that came out. This is the swim tooth she came in. She had this um, long, beautiful hair in the Rudy front hair. bends right here. And uh, just like Barbie, she had her own set in wardrobe and fashion. Uh, and she had blue eyes. She wasn't a bendable doll. She was actually a straight leg doll uh, with the little cut bangs, I think mm -hmm. you said, George. And the eyes actually went to the right. Side glance. And it was a little different than the Japanese version. The Japanese version actually looked to the left and had brown eyes. Yes. Yes, and then this doll also was also sold in the, in the, in Europe as well as Canada. Yeah. But uh, with this doll, when you first bought her, she came with boxes, of course, just like Barbie and all the other Mattel family dolls. And inside this box, if you want to open yours, I will. Oh, eventually, we'll open mine <laughs> first. Ooh, is this another skipper right here? As you can tell, she's a different hair color. Cause as you will see, as we keep showing you more and more uh, other skipper dolls, she did come in various hair colors. This is the lemon blonde. Well, the blonde hair color. This is the brunette hair color. And she only came in the first uh, time. She came in the Titan, the blonde, and the brunette. Yes. Later years, she came out in different versions of the blonde, which George said the lemon blonde. Um, but right now, we're showing yeah. the. What is so, so this is the ballet class outfit. This is a uh, part of the outfit. It's a pink tutu right here. The little ballet recital paper. Of course, all the box dolls came with the stand. And then right here, this is the box. I'll show you the front and the sides. Just like Barbie's box where it shows a little bit of a sample. But only what, nine and a, and a quarter? Nine and a quarter inches tall, yeah. So of really course, little. Yeah, of course, being, you know, Barbie's little sister, she had to be little. So well, what, what did Ruth Handler uh, get her name from? Her, the name Skipper was inspired from the 1960s show Gidget. And also because Vogue, uh, their big thing was to give like these like, these kind of nicknames to the models and stuff. So that's because when she was coming out, they were also planning to come out with Scooter. So it was like a... a Two names they created at once, Skipper and Scooter. So it's it's that was the trend back then. That's yes. what it was. So let's go ahead and open the second box. I believe the other version of the ballet class is in here. Once again, a little stand. And this one is the Titan uh, version of the Skipper doll. Wow. She came with her little uh, ballet bag, which contained her shoes in it. She also had a little pamphlet. Uh, that said uh, when the ballet class this I one. think was we're gonna show it was right here. We're gonna put it in front so we can look at that. And this was her little uh, I guess you know getting ready to get that workout on, practicing for her ballet class, and then of course the version of the recital uh, class version, which is this nice little pink tutu with the silver on it. And these boxes were really handy to store these little dolls away when you were done playing with them. Um, and just keeping them, you know, intact, especially after all these years, you can see how nicely these dolls are still put together. And along with that, they came with the booklet. Yeah, they, yeah, they came with the booklet. Yes. This was the first version of the booklet of Skipper coming out, and she had her own little fashion book. Inside, you find just the, all the little different outfits that were available that year for um, that we will show you right now with yeah. um, with George's little. Uh, Runway. Well, well, one thing, one thing forgot to mention. I forgot to bring up. But with the original Skipper outfit, she also did come with uh, the combs, of course, because you have to be able to brush her hair. You can't see this, <laughs> but I'm brushing her hair right now. Uh, she had long, really beautiful small. hair. So she had a little comb. She got the booklet, and then she had her 
hair, headband. She's wearing one, but we got one right here in this little plastic baggie too to show you guys. And one so. thing about those headbands, you know, just like everything else, they oxidize when you leave them on too long and it will turn the doll green. Yes. So make sure always to pull those off, put them away somewhere where they're not touching the and skin because it'll, in any part of the body that it touches too long will start oxidizing. That, that's, so, yeah, that's what the vinyl would cause. It's because the humidity and moisture is what causes that. So if you do live somewhere fingers, humid, be careful. Yeah. Especially if somewhere humid, be very careful with the way you, where you store your dolls or if you try to play with them in water, maybe don't at all. <laughs> so let's start with the fashion show. So this first one right here, of course, it's another Skipper doll. Ooh, this one right here, she's the flower girl. So this flower girl right here, um, she's a Titan Red. And just a little FYI with these dolls, we did mention they come in blonde, brunette, and Titan, but the, that was, was the three primary hair colors, but these dolls were known to have variations of those hair yes. colors. In comparison to this Titan right here, hers is a, lot, a little bit more actually red and orange. This one right here in the black um, ballet class outfit is a little bit more brown. So, yeah, so right here she's wearing the dress. She's got the bouquet. Um, this outfit also comes with a little headband that has a flower bouquets in her shoes. I put some yellow shoes on her because I couldn't find some white ones, but um, she does come. This is basically the outfit. Very pretty, very formal flower girl outfit. Yes. And then next outfit we're going to show you is yet, of course, another skipper outfit. This is a little bit of a combination. This right here, you see on the outside, is the dress coat, which to me kind of looks like the silken flame, the skipper size silken flame, because underneath, she has this, ooh, hold on, it's cut right here, ooh. And you know, with these versions of these outfits, Barbie and her usually kind of had some outfits that were similar, especially when they would go out and hang out, they had a match, you know, they had a look kind of the same because this was her little sister and they were in yeah, style. Yeah, I'm sorry, this one was called uh, the Silky Fancy. Sorry, I got caught right here, I got worried a second, but there's two versions of this dress. You got the one right here that has uh, the red ruffles underneath her dress and there's a version that just comes with the all white ruffles underneath. She does come with a little purse, which is really cute, and that hat right here. And then there's a headband. Uh, we didn't put it on her because this one has kind of lost elasticity, as you know, with these uh, vintage items that happen. Yeah, so no the worries. elastic kind of kind of just kind of crumbles. Mm -hmm. And the shoes too. Um, you got to be careful with these careful. harder plastic shoes because these tend to crack. You know, I don't know. It, it could be the heat a lot of times. I just think it's yeah. It, it just they get old and they lose that moisture in them, I guess, and uh, they tend to snap with, especially with these straight leg. Um, skippers, you know, they're just very solid, so they don't give any yeah. give to it and it just snaps those shoes, especially right in the middle. So the next skipper I want to bring out, she has this really cute ensemble going on. This one right here is called the Dream Time Skipper. As you can tell, the reason why is because she's ready to go to bed and go to sleep for the night. You got so you got the PJs underneath. It's this cute little pink, uh, pastel pink and white polka dot uh, top and bottom and then the robe over it. But she also does come with uh, multiple accessories. She's got a mirror in her pocket right here. Oh, and her rollers. I don't know what for because her hair's not curled, but she's got rollers. And then she also has combs. Uh, and she also came hair. with a little cat. With a little, little kitty cat, teddy, yeah. Teddy bear. Yeah, a yeah, little uh, kitty kitty cat teddy bear. And then also a little yeah. stop, a little clock right here to wake her up in the morning. Go to school, Skipper. Can't skip school today. So. And this one has a little bit of a different hair color. It's almost yes. a very light, light. It's more ashy. Yeah. It's like more ashy than this brown. brunette. Yeah, that's what uh, we are explaining to you guys earlier. It's a variation in the hair colors. You know, these all these redheads right here are way different. This is more ashy. That's a really bright Titan. I think that's the Titan one. And this is like an orangey brown Titan mm -hmm. one. This was dark brown, ashy brown. That's the lemon blonde right here. Wow. And now, an, another dog here. Because we need... I'm going to put her in the front right now. This... Next one right here. This is right here. Another Skipper doll. Another lemon blonde one right here. And she's still a little bit... To me, she's darker than the first one we pulled out. The lemon blonde. But uh, she's wearing um, uh, the the class... Oh, what's it called again? I forgot. Do you remember? School days? School days. Oh, God. Okay, I forgot this one. It just came out of my mind. Because I was looking at her hair and I was distracted. School days outfit. But uh, as you can and tell, I, I believe this would be the first blondes that came out because remember, lemon blondes didn't come out till that was later, rare. Right? Yeah, it was a rare color. The lemon blondes is rare. Yeah, I thought mine's lemon blonde until I saw this one and I said, No, that's lemon blonde. That's a lot lighter. She has a complete outfit, but I gave her a little bit extra. I gave her a little uh, one of those little Barbie dolls and then it uh, came out later. Yeah, it came out later. Yeah, I just really want to throw it in there because if she's playing and then a Disneyland ticket because she's on her way to Disneyland. <laughs>
<laughs> but she has a complete outfit the skirt the cardigan the white button up shirt black shoes and the, love socks. the socks the socks are very detailed and they fit perfect you on know her. one thing i noticed though that when you keep them long uh, for a long time on them and you take them off they keep the foot mold on them like yeah, yeah so I don't probably best to undress some of these accessories or, or, so they don't get worn or, out. Or if you do have an outfit, just have an extra one that's not worn just to keep it pristine and mint because this is going to get stretched out. Especially because I can tell you this doll I know has been dressed in this outfit for at least a good year and, and I try to switch it out real quick and I said, oh my god, the sock. There's like an invisible foot in the sock that little mold stood still. So this is uh, the skippers we had to show you, but we do have some other outfits that came out in 1964 that we wanted to show you right here. This first one. Oh, it's called the Red Sensation right here. So it's a cute little dress right here. It comes with this um, wide brim straw hat. There's a cute little bow in the front. And a little, oh, this one is cracked. The little red shoe right here. Yeah, I see. Japan that's... marked, of course. That's when they're manufactured. This one also is supposed to come with uh, gloves. Comes with the white gloves as well. And the little. And white it gloves. almost matches the Barbie sheath dress that she wore. So yes. they kind of matched a little bit with the red buttons in the front. But Barbie's had, you know, a little bit more fitted. At the breast area. Yes, yes. So that's cute. One of the shots has a little round buttons as yes. a sheath dress. Other sheath dresses had. Ooh, excuse me. This next outfit. Ooh, this next outfit is of course the masquerade outfit, which is really fun because you know Barbie and Ken had their own mar masquerade <laughs> outfits. Was it backwards? Yeah. <laughs> so you have the little mask it's right also here on the box. Yes. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it's right there on the box. You got the little mask. The dress and a cute little hat, of course, came with shoes and all that fun stuff. And the shoes were little black ones with little pom-poms, mm -hmm. yeah, little yellow yes, pom-poms yes, on them. Yes, yes, they sure were. Um, they, they did that with a couple of their shoes. I know Barbie had yeah, a Yeah, Barbie had a pair, but hers were the uh, black high heels. And then this right here, the next outfit, is the under pretties. It's like an undergarment, of course. It's a, uh, maybe something she'd wear underneath all her, you know, her dresses and stuff. It came also with little socks and everything. I think it's more of like a nighty outfit. Yeah, and it had mirrors with a little mirror yeah. with it, a little comb. Uh, but this one didn't come with a top because, you know, one, she didn't have any yeah, breasts. Yeah, a little girl. girl. Yeah. So she just basically walked around with a topless. <laughs> so I don't, that was that. That was the, the on the series, the first numbered one. Uh, that, that came on the 1900 and then the next outfit right here is the final of the complete um, of all the first outfits yeah, there was about 10 of them besides the uh, swimsuit one that she actually came well, out with the in. swimsuit one that's 10 with the swimsuit because it's 11. no it's one one nine zero zero through one nine zero nine and then and then the swimsuit was 10 but this is and then this is right here is a skating fun outfit, of course, right here. So you got the one piece right here that shows you that it's a top and a bottom. It's a one piece of skirt that goes on it and a cute little hat that and she wears. And it had a little white muff that we, we, we don't have skates. where her little hands uh, would go in and keep warm. And the skates too. But this is this was the final outfit. These were the first outfits that came out in 1964 with Skipper when she was released. The dolls had come dressed sometimes and these are the only outfits you would see on her so yeah that's they, why we're yeah, showing they, they, did you mention they were they also had dress boxed ones of these versions where they were already dressed uh, all up in these outfits but the boxes were just a little different they almost had like a white stripe in the boxes that's how you could tell if yeah those, uh, were you know already dressed uh, to go ready to play with and at the same time you know this is the same year that Alan came out when we showed you the last uh, yeah movie yeah I showed you yeah they have the commercial you see they have when when Alan came out in Skipper's commercial they're like you know we, we just introduced Alan to you now welcome Skipper and then followed by Scooter yeah and, and you know and this was a lot of research Mattel did they had a little fan club not back in 1959 that they started so they would ask you know little girls out there that were part of the fan club hey what would you like to see would you like to see her, uh, Barbie have a boyfriend you know uh, the little sister you know what would it you know what would you like to see as far as future playmates of Barbie and the versions that are here now are ones that were produced the other ones that were considered prototypes or you know the first version wave were the ones that the salesmen would walk around to sell to managers at toy stores and those dolls were just a little different some of them didn't have markings on them they didn't have markings underneath the rim of the neck as these do they tell you the year and Mattel mm -hmm. on them and some of them you know didn't have the Japan uh, markings on them or if they did they would be a little bit elongated a little different than uh, straight across the toe area and those dolls were also just a little bit like smaller I think their legs were a little shorter and they were wider at the legs they their legs kind of opened up had a little bit of a gap but they kind of took that version out because it just looked a little stubby 
uh, for the doll and the little girls didn't like it so much so they ended up kind of elongating the legs a little bit and then they came up with this version of the doll. And also we're going to show you some of the accessories that they had available because of course you know they wanted the little girls to just show off Skipper all over the place so we're going to show you a little uh, coin purse that we also picked up. This is actually just a purse inside where you could uh, have your little money stored away, a picture of maybe yourself, your family, or maybe your little boyfriend at the time. And then they also had, you know, these little snapshot pictures of old celebrity Tuesday Wells is in here. Wow. And they also have Troy Donahue, which was really bad, really cool back in the day. And you put your little money, carried around your little purse, and they also had purses, um, binders, um, cases, yeah, all kinds it's of all fun vinyl. Stuff. It's like like the way they make the cases. It's like I'm pretty sure it's the same material they'd use for the vinyls and. Whatnot. Yes, and this one actually has the masquerade uh, outfit on it as well. And they also made coin purses. They had a little coin purse oh, that's they wanted so to show cool. you. I like you put your one. little change in. Nowadays, we really don't carry too much change. Everything's in debit cards and, you know, 20s. But usually change is hard to come by. But back in the day, little kids love change because that was a lot of money. You could buy a lot of candy and gum, especially that penny and nickel gum uh, back in those days. It, it was really fun to carry all that stuff around. And then we're going to show you one more, uh, other thing that was really neat. Uh, back in the 60, oh, 64, oh, that. they had the uh, put it together furniture. And this was one of the, the things that you were able to, you know, get out of the box and then put it together. It would all be snapped off and then you would have to assemble it. That's why it was called put it together furniture. Oh, wow. It came with, you know, the double bunk bed, for, you know, for her and her little friend to come over or just another skipper. A little ladder went on the side, just like any other bunk bed, so they can get up there and play and, you know, sit there. came with a little skipper pillows. We only have one right now. Um, but that was a little fun little things that kids had, you know, like normal kids had bunk beds and when you have sleepovers and that was the whole fun thing is having playtime and playing with friends and bringing them over and guess, doing that fun stuff. I guess Skipper was antip anticipating Scooter coming over maybe to, yes. to have a, uh, what do they call it? Sleepover. There yes, you go. sleepover. I was like, what do you call those things? Like, and then you, you could not have uh, Skipper in all her wardrobe without a carrying case. Of course, Skipper came out with her own version of the carrying cases. She um, had a double door that you would open up. Oops! And then these were the little accessory holders that would just go right to the side. And they were smaller, of course, because they had to fit Skipper. You put her you put her on the side and she had her little drawers and room to store all her clothes. Yes, little Skipper go right there. All the other, so even if you had multiple Skippers, you just throw them all up in there. Yeah. And a little hanging a closet area where you just kind of hang her just clothes. Like, just like the other trunks in the carrying case. Just a little smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, just it petite enough for her to uh, be toted around. And then we had just another colors that had that were available as well uh, in that time, which was a nice blue that I thought was really pretty. It had print of flowers that went all the way around. It was really nice, all the little details. And of course, they had to put Barbie's little sister on there. And then just one more version of the case uh, just came in on um, these three colors that I got when they colors, first yeah. came out with. And then later on, you know, boom, exploded. You know, they were all over the place with so many uh, hat boxes and different versions of Yeah, those. there's this one more box here I want to show you guys I got over here. And this is actually a Barbie and Skipper box, which was from 1964. A lot of the time, Mattel, uh, you know, as uh, you guys know, I'm seeing, they have boxes where they show multiple characters. This one is huge. Same way, fold open, but it's bigger, of course, because it accommodates both Barbie and her little sister. So they yes. need a lot of room for their clothes because we all know they have a lot of clothing. Yes, and I don't even have it all. I still want to hunt more and more and more. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything I have to show on my side. Well, I still have one more thing to show oh, because, because you know, not only were you able There's to more. play with these dolls and you know interchange their clothes and have all that great fun, they decided to bring out a board game. Oh, yes, wow. there was a little board game. There's more you know, fun. games where you can play, you know, you can play probably with Skipper, roll the dice for her, you know, do that fun stuff. But there was so much going on in 1964. You know, this was, like I said, an addition with two more dolls. And then they also had the Miss Barbie that came out. But this was the biggest introduction, which was the Skipper and the Allen, because these were two new characters that now they added to the collection that added to the wardrobe, added to the playtime, added to the fun of having a little sister to hang out with, show her new things, dress up, all that fun little uh, fun stuff uh, the sisters do together. And I guess uh, 
Anything else, George? No, that was it. I thought I had to show That you. wraps up this video. All right, thanks, guys. All right, remember, you guys, if you have any dolls that you'd like to have featured in our next potential video, um, if you have them up in your attic, down your basement, or up in your closet, be sure to contact us. All our contact information is listed in the description below, you know, from our Facebook, our Instagram, to Tim's eBay, or my Etsy shop. So yes. be sure to stay tuned and keep watching videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We really appreciate love your comments. All the, yeah, we appreciate all the attention and love you guys send our way. We're gonna keep showing you more and more dolls, okay guys? Thank you, bye, bye guys. See you later, have a skipper day.